the sum of two or more numbers is the result of adding them. For example, the sum of 17 and 3 is 17 plus 3, which equals 20. The sum of 9, 3 and 10 is 9 plus 3 plus 10, which equals 22. The difference of two numbers is the result of subtracting them. For example, the difference between 99 and 8 is 99 minus 8, which is obviously equal to 91. The product of two or more numbers is the result of multiplying them. For example, the product of 3 and 7 is 3 times 7, which equals 21. The product of 2, 3 and 5 is 2 times 3 times 5, which is obviously equal to 30. 2 times 3 is 6, and then you times that by 5 to give you 30. The quotient of two numbers is the result of dividing them. For example, the quotient of 30 and 5 is 30 divided by 5, which is equal to 6. Here we can see we've got an exercise. Perhaps you might want to stop the video at this point and have a go at the exercise yourself before I do the answers in a moment. But you can see that you've been asked to write down and we have five examples from A through to E. And if we have a look at A, it's asking us to find the product of 3 and 10. And quite simply, all we do here, we take the 3 and we multiply it by the 10 to give 30. So the answer to A is simply 30, 3 times 10. The product means multiply. If we have a look at B, it's asking us for the difference between 51 and 21. So in fact, all we do here, we write down the 51 and we subtract from it the 21. And of course, the answer in this particular case is 30. If we consider C, it's asking us to find the sum of 9, 3 and 7. So what we do here, we write the 9, the 3 and the 7 down, as you can see, and we simply add them up. You know, 9 plus 3 is 12, and then we add the 7 to get 19. As simple as that. If we look at D, it's asking us to find the quotient of 40 and 5, which simply means writing down the 40 and dividing that by the 5. And of course, that goes 8 times. Now, if we look at E, it's asking us to find the difference between the product of 12 and 2 and the quotient of 12 and 2. Well, we need to do this in a number of steps. Step 1, what we're going to do, we're going to find the product of 12 and 2, which is quite simply, we take the 12 and we multiply it together. As you can see here, 12 times 2 is 24. The next step, well, we need to find the quotient of 12 and 2. So we find the quotient of 12 and 2. Now this means that we take the 12 and we divide it, as you can see here, by the 2 to give us 6. Now the next step, having worked out numbers of step 1 and step 2, we now find the difference between these numbers worked out in the previous steps. So we need to find what was in the first step, and we can see here it was 24, so we write down 24 here, and then we subtract from that 6, because the 6 was what the result was from finding the quotient. So what we do, we write down the 24, we subtract the 6, and we get 18. So the answer in this particular case is 18.